welcome to our myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the webinar based on the subject tribology and having the unit number 6 that is surface engineering now in this case we have to see the surface engineering solutions okay that is surface engineering solutions that we have to see in this case so what is surface engineering solutions now with the introductory figure shows that there is support for the layers substrate coating pvd coatings are there okay so we have to see whether the solution is correct or not that is a surface engineering solutions now look at the second figure that the at the top most surface that is surface modification will be done through the thermochemical treatment okay with the thermochemical treatment that support for the surfaces as the heating is increases the chemical reactions is exist between the two layers and the two layers create the third layer with the chemical treatment and also the heating treatment that we called thermochemical treatment now the surface modification of this support for the surfaces is done through this thermochemical treatment on abstract or the can say object now this is thermal oxidation the micro hardness will increase with the distance from the surface as we are increasing the heating treatment as the heating is increases the hardness is goes on increasing okay and the hardness will be maximum when there is a the maximum temperature is exist and the maximum temperature which is being occur at the 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 contact which is near to the heat that is 7.5 micrometer is the range of that particular the hardness layer so micro hardness in terms of 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 one while your distance from the surface in terms of micrometer that is a 0 5 10 25 15 20 25 30 35 and that of your 40 so these are the ranges of your micro uh, the surfaces distances thermal oxidation that is the friction that is ball on disc and then again evolution of the coefficient of friction now uh, graph shows that that is untreatment material and uh, the treatment material okay having the time and that is the uh, the friction so ball on disc thermal oxidation that is friction that is evolution of the coefficient of friction with time s in terms of 0 200 400 600 800 1000 and 1200 now the gear with the TI sixty four that is titanium with the sixty four thermal oxidations will be seen with this diagram. Look at this. These are the surfaces where we are having the titanium coating. Okay, that is thermal oxidations. By the heating, we can say that. Now the deep base hardening is done through the nickel diffusion through the laser EB surface alloying. oxidation diffusion there again deep case hardening oxidations look at this the hardness will be become a less as the distance is travel as the distance is less your hardness will be more so case hardening means what the hardening which is as to the near surfaces so at the top level 
the hardness is more at the low level that is that hardness is less now the deep case hardening oxidations that is a look at the substrate over the substrate where have the thermochemical treatment the sodium solid the surface modification is done which is having the high friction and the the titanium surfaces now look at is the deep deep case hardening plus coating under that condition that is a low friction and a high hardness coating so what is the basically difference of if we are putting the coating under that condition you are the coating material having the low frictional friction that's why the friction resistance is less so that is a low friction and a high hardness coating is done so thermochemical treatment which can increase the hardness of material load bearing capacity load bearing capacity that is thermochemical treatment plus coating plus 140% increase in applied load that is the case the only the coating alone that is 15 newton capacity but the thermochemical treatment plus coating and 140 degree increase in the applied load we are increasing the 50 to 120 newton force now ti alloys all the examples shown above how a use ti 6a l that is aluminum 4 v alloy substrate 550 alloy specially developed for diffusion treatment can produce cases up to the 190 micrometer in depth alloys with the significant v uh, vita phase are situated to the diffusion treatment but attentions must be paid to their the bulk heat treatment conditions so thank you to all for this case that is the, the the surface engineering solutions that we have seen in this case it quite easier to understand only the case which type of coating heat treatment that we are using that we have to see